Hi guys, cheers to the weekend. Good morning. You're welcome to Frankly Speaking with Glory again. My name is Glory Elijah. And guys, today, this morning, I'm going to be giving you the hottest gist on the Big Brother Niger show. A lot of stuff happened yesterday and the early hours of this morning. So guys, stay tuned to this channel. Do not skip this video. You have to watch this video to the end to get all the juicy details of what I'm about to share. You cannot watch two or three or four minutes because you will definitely not get all the gist. And if you're new to this channel, guys, kindly click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family. And um, if you want to be the first person to always get a lot of my videos whenever I upload all you have to do is click on the white bell button it's called the post notification bell so just click in that and you will definitely join the notification gang of this great family all right guys so a lot of things happened yesterday but the first one that really really pissed me off and I took it quite personal was the confrontation between Joe and Tatcha so guys I'm gonna state this clearly now Joe provoked Tatcha. Yes. Now, Joe has the advantage of coming into the house late after five weeks, right? So he has seen it all. He knows that, oh, yes, Tatcha lashes out at anybody that steps on her toes. He knows that Tatcha is very, very fast to, you know, hitting the nail on the head. Tatcha is not afraid of any housemate. So he, Joe came into the house with an agenda. And yesterday, he proved it to the entire world and even to the housemates that, yes, he came into the house basically to pepper tatcha so guys this is what happened yesterday i didn't watch from the beginning but then where i started watching from was where tatcha was sitting on the couch with a duvet around herself and joe kept on tormenting her by calling her name tatcha 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 talk to me tatcha talk to me and tatcha wasn't in the mood to talk to him you know and then trust tatcha tatcha was you know sometimes tatcha would answer him back you're very stupid I, oh, did he answer him back? No, did she answer him back? I don't think so. You know, but Joe kept on tormenting Tatcha. And then Tatcha kept him quiet. And then the worst move that that nigga made was he left his seat and he went to Tatcha's seat and sat close to her and put his hand around, you know, at the back of her, her, her head. And he was talking to Tatcha and Tatcha was like, stay away from me, don't touch me, you know. And he put his hand around Tatcha and... You know, Tatcha used the duvet to push him off. Like, stay away from me. Don't touch me. I don't want to talk to you. And then the guy kept on insisting. You know, he kept on tormenting Tatcha. Oh, Tatcha, Tatcha, Tatcha. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you touch my face. You touch my face, you know. Even the housemates saw what happened and they shouted because they knew that that was like another level of provocation entirely. And then the worst that the guy did, he dragged the duvet that she was using and Tatcha pushed him again, you know. Now, Everybody in the house was a witness. The whole world was a witness. They saw that Joe clearly and intentionally meant to provoke Tatcha. Fine. A lot of people dislike Tatcha. And I know that a lot of you have been saying that, oh, Gloria, are you a fan of Tatcha? Listen, I am not a fan of anybody in the house. I have my favorites and I, I deliberately do not share my favorites on this channel. Occasionally, when a housemate acts right, I tell you, oh, I like what this housemate did. But then, guys, listen and listen carefully. Anybody that invades your space the way Joe invaded Tasha's space yesterday, the person needs psychiatric evaluation. There's a thin line between playing a game and, you know, crossing people's boundaries. Now, Joe crossed Tasha's boundary yesterday and... I cannot wait for Biggie to give him a strike. And he was claiming that Tatcha hit him. Well, Tatcha used the duvet to push him. I don't know what the whole world saw anyways. But for me, oh, what I have to say about that, that situation is nobody has a right to invade my space. I don't fucking care if it's a game, if we are all fighting for 16 million. But the rules of Biggie's house is no provocation. I don't know all the rules, but the rules that I, I know clearly states that no provocation, no threats to another housemate's life, no, no, um, what's that? No physical hitting. And Joe, Joe was physical with Tatcha yesterday. He invaded her space. He provoked her intentionally and the whole world was a witness. So guys, that's my own matter on it. Drop your comments below if you think that what Joe did to Tatcha was right. And yesterday in the dressing room, he was confiding, he was telling um, Kathy because Kathy went to ask him. And he was telling Kathy that if you act like an animal, then don't, don't be shocked when people treat you like an animal. Who the fuck is he? 
like he has no right he has no right to take up that responsibility of oh i want to come into the anyways guys let me not even give myself a lot of headache guys drop your comments in the comment section below if you think that what joe did to tacha is actually right and if you will like for someone else to invade your space that way and if you would like for someone else to deliberately provoke you a lot of you will say that oh tacha, tacha should have walked away i want to remind us of something guys tacha has been in that house from day one she has been the target for all the housemates from day one. Tasha has been the one that is always put up for eviction every fucking week. So Tasha has been under a lot of pressure. And I am not saying that Tasha is innocent. Of course, there are moments she has a madness. I've linked a video down below where she, she was angry with Mike. Of course, Mike provoked her and then she touched mike right I, oh like she pushed mike yeah and i called that out on that video saying that biggie has to give her a strike for that well unfortunately she didn't receive the strike but this time around she was the one that was provoked intentionally deliberately and extremely provoked so guys if you are cornered to the wall like that they said that if a dog is cornered to the wall the dog will bite so that was what happened yesterday so guys that's my own opinion i am not here to stroke anybody's ego on that issue so drop your comments below let me know what you think now moving on guys another thing that happened yesterday morning was between on Mashola, Esther, and Fraud. So on Mashola has always been complaining in the house that the housemates are fond of hoarding food in the house, especially when there's always food. You know, it's not like Biggie does not provide for them. Even when they lose their wager, Biggie is still nice, you know. But then the housemates keep hiding food in their in their closets. Like, how is that? How is that even nice? You know. So um, Marshall went to the kitchen yesterday to make himself some toast, but then you realize that all the eggs that he saw that was a lot in the crate the previous day was gone. You know, so that really ticked him off because he has said it over and over again that housemates should stop hoarding food. You know, because they are not poor, they are not from poverty stricken homes or whatever. You know, so um, Marshall got really, really pissed, and especially Esther was one of the persons that hid toast, and then Esther lied that she has never eaten toast in the house. Whereas whenever our Mashala is making toast, Esther is making her own toast. So guys, no tea too. So our Mashala was angry at Esther and he was shouting as usual. Everybody knows that whenever our Mashala is talking, he shouts. So Fraud took it personal, probably because the previous, that night or that early morning, he was just, do um, he and Esther had kissed, they had made out and um, they had cuddled each other at night. So you know just like a knight in shining armor rising up to defend his princess or damsel in distress you know he took up the matter on his head and omashola and fraud quarreled and quarreled for over an hour you know and it was quite exhausting watching both of them shout and yell and yell but the peak of that was the fact that omashola was able to take up maturity and walk up to to fraud after he had calmed down and then they talked about it like men you know and they made up they settled their differences guys that is the way forward you know that's what i was talking about in my previous videos that when people of upset you or offend you go in front of them and say what you have to say instead of going about to 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 paint them black and then later you start making yourself look like the victim or the hero but I, overall i love what omashala and fraud did they settled their differences and everything went well and even though mashallah went back to esther and hugged her and apologized to her for you know getting too worked up over the entire issue so that was it for oh, mashallah esther and fraud wahala now another set of people did another wahala which other set of people again okay 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 not no not that one not that one so another thing that happened again guys was um the housemates had the um bet niger friday night arena games and gosh it was quite competitive remember guys earlier this week when biggie told the housemates that they will no longer have um the regular nominations where every housemate has to go into the diary room to nominate two housemates that they feel should go home right so um the new um system that biggie introduced was um sharing the housemates into two teams in the house the green team and the red team so remember guys, no, let me not even explain all of that it's going to take up the time on this video i'm going to link that in the description box so that you can see the instructions and the rules um guiding 
you know the new nomination process so guys yesterday guys remember friday night arena games it's no longer just for the individual to win bet niger coins but it's also for each team to win their weekly wager right so it's now a challenge between teams no longer a challenge between individuals but still individuals will get their 400 bet niger rewards or 200 bet niger rewards and last night guys ike was disqualified he was disqualified guys because that ninja really really got on his nerves even me at some point i was quite irritated at the ninja because it was as if the ninja like the guy mean fraud the guy time sorry not fraud ike the guy time ike the guy carrying himself said this guy i won't deal with you today and as usual ike got in his feelings he took it personal and at the end of the day he lost a lot of minutes i think he finished in almost about five minutes or four minutes and um what happened biggie disqualified him because he ended up breaking two of the slabs you know um, that was part of the the games so biggie warned the housemates that look do not try it again so guys um overall for the arena games um oh mashallah as usual one my god guys I was so freaking excited. Omashola finished the game in 32 freaking seconds and 20. Is it 20 milliseconds? I don't know what that means. But guys, 32 freaking seconds. Omashola finished his game. I say worry, guys. Even Mr. Begin is shouting in my room, guys. I was so super excited for Omashola. Do you know why I'm excited for Omashola, guys? Remember, I think the, th the second or third week when the housemates were instructed by biggie to donate um coins yeah <clears throat> to donate coins before dinner that evening omashala had only 20 bet niger coins because he had 120 and ike i don't know if it was ike anyways but someone robbed him in the house of a hundred a whole hundred bet niger coins so omashala had only 20 20 bet niger coins and today guys omashala is the dangote of the house he's the richest housemate like this i think this is the third time now that omashola is winning the arena games so calculate 400 bet ninja coins consecutively and it, there was another time he came second place so guys omashola is now the wealthiest wealthiest housemate in the house and i am super excited for him because i feel like he totally deserves it you know he was one of those housemates that was robbed he felt bad he got a strike for it for getting upset and now look at where he is so he was even advising nk that look nk give your 20 and all shall be well with you but nk was trying to play smart with biggie you know by saying that she doesn't have coins when she has 30 you know even tacha was advising nk to donate our coins because the rules of last night arena games was for any housemates that wants to partake in the game you have to you have to donate three of your personal items to charity and also donate 20 bet niger coins so um all the housemates had to give something I, the new housemates i do not know but i think they already have coins as well so they also gave out coins and yesterday guys yeah something interesting happened as well i thank god i did not forget guys in the afternoon, the housemates had um, um, visitors from Super Sports. Um, the man that is always talking. What is that his name again? Oh, I wrote it somewhere. I cannot remember. But I'll, I'll put the picture in my community tab as usual. Um, the guy that is always, always giving commentaries on Super Sports. And Joseph Yobo. Yeah, two of Nigeria's um, top-notch sports personalities. They came into the house and um, they they took the housemates through a task in football. Yeah. So um, what happened? Yeah. Um, the green, the red team. No, the iconic team. That's the red team. Yes. The iconic team, the red team, they won that particular task. Yes. They won that task. And Biggie has a gift for them, a reward for them. The reward will be given to them probably on Sunday. Um, moving forward, guys. Um, so, as I was saying, for the arena games yesterday, um, a martial law won. He got his 400 bet Niger coins. And, guys, Ella Zone, I'm the new housemate. He came second place by finishing his own task or the game in 40 seconds, 3 milli milliseconds, <laughs> whatever that means. So, guys, um, it was a fun um, game yesterday, although um the crustopia team that's the green team won the iconic team did not win crustopia finished in 12 minutes 
is it 12 minutes i think so yes well um the green team that that's the red team the iconic team they finished in 17 minutes and some seconds so guys um i am super super excited for them and yesterday guys biggie called out some housemates for breaking some of the house rules biggie has been noticing all the crazy things that the housemates have been doing all through the week i remember guys the theme of this week in the house is showing kindness or showing love and kindness but then biggie was complaining that the housemates had been doing all manner of bickerings they've been quarreling they've been at loggerheads with each other they've been breaking the house rules a hundred percent and he was going to address all most of the rules on sunday or later but then that yesterday night the one that really pissed him off was when the housemates were instructed to to stay away from the two bedrooms when they hear the buzzer but then people like jackie mike nk or mashola um joe um i think elozonam um cindy i i hope i got it right but as usual guys i'm gonna put a picture of the housemates that biggie called out in my community tab so that you can see them so um biggie called out those housemates and the punishment for those housemates for breaking that particular rule is they will not participate in the veto power challenge on sunday and they will not participate in the head of house challenge on monday so guys on was contesting it that he did not enter the room jackie was contesting it but then let's see how it goes um th oh yeah tacha was also also mentioned let's see how it goes if biggie is gonna have mercy on them just like he had mercy on shay by including um, shay into the um the veto power challenge once again um so guys what else happened oh yeah there was a little fallout between getoni and kathy last night yeah so this is what happened you know when the housemates were preparing their designs and their arts for the opo runway task Kathy kept on jumping up and down and most of her jumping around included her going to go and meet her boyfriend Gedoni in his group. So Joe was accusing or was it? Yeah, Joe was accusing Gedoni that because he allowed his girlfriend to be coming to their workspace that his girlfriend copied their design and, you know, Tacha's team incorporated it into making Sadi's outfit. So I think... Kathy got the wrong signal from that, you know, and then she came to tell her group members that Gedoni was calling her a liar, you know, that they were having a conversation about it and she gave him the opportunity to make his conclusions about her and he called her a liar. But Gedoni on that hand was saying that he did not call her a liar, that he gave her close to three minutes to dispute what he asked, that all he did was he asked her, did you see our design she said yes and then he asked her again did you take what you saw to your team and then kathy said no you know so guys those two people i don't understand but the truth is at this point kathy is very very upset we get doni and she is saying that she's gonna fight it that in fact she's gonna she's not gonna go to get doni to talk to him about anything in fact at this moment henceforth that she's gonna focus on the game and then after the house if he wants to have the relationship or if she wants to have the relationship as she put it then they will see how it goes guys you said also people matter i'm not gonna talk anything because at the end of the day now kathy go still go meet gidoni they will go talk again she'll go beg him they'll kiss and make up and mom i don't know what's gonna happen anyways guys that's all for this morning's episode of frankly speaking with glory i am giving you guys all the juicy details that happened yesterday oh guys and ta-da Shay and Tacha, they have settled their disputes. They have made up. They are no longer quarreling, no. So they are now good friends. They've settled their disputes. And that is that. Remember, guys, tonight is the Big Brother Niger Saturday party. Yay. Yay. Even me, I cannot wait because whenever they're having their party on TV, me, I'm in my room doing my own bedu. So I cannot wait for the party. And remember, guys, as usual, I am going to give you the juicy updates immediately after the party or no no ors no ors or buts i'm gonna give you the juicy details guys because remember saturday night parties in biggest house always comes with his own crazy weird spirit so i'm gonna be at a lot to tell you guys everything and anything that happens and yesterday guys oh my god a lot of things happened yesterday okay another thing that happened was that yesterday on mashallah 
after the arena games you know Omashla was talking to ike and you know advising ike you know not to always get upset you know whenever they're having the arena games because now it's no longer an a, an individual thing it's now a group thing you know because at the end of yesterday um the the iconic team they lost as i said and the green team they won so while they were talking esther was there and then according to her she heard omashola say that in the other team they have weaklings you know so that caused a lot of riffs and then she went to go and tell it to shay and then shay came and made a scene in the closet area you know but omashola said that whenever they ask accusing him of that he did not say it you know so esther Diane, Mercy, and Venita, they ganged up against Omashola, and they were upset with Omashola, they were yelling at him, and already Omashola is not the sort of person that keeps things in his mind, you know, he gets upset, he says it once and for all. So already, he was already feeling down about his confrontation with Esther earlier in the day, even though he had settled with them, you know, so what happened venita just carried up the issue on her head all of a sudden and was attacking Omashola, but then I liked what Omashola did, he went and 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 Talk, talk to Shay and okay Shay went to him and he addressed the issue with Shay. NK played a very very huge role in this whole thing you know NK called Shay and spoke with him NK also called um Ike and spoke to him as well and um what else happened um what else happened yeah so um Omashala spoke to Shay and told Shay to please help him to go and talk to the other housemates, you know, that he is sorry, that if he had said whatever they thought he said, that he cannot remember because he talks a lot, he talks fast, so some things he says he cannot even remember, you know. So he apologized to all of them, but then when he was talking to Shay, Venita came and wanted to talk to him and he was like, I don't want to talk to you right now. I am so happy that Marshall did that because guys of late Venita has seriously been irritating me. Some people in the house will be talking. She will just go and put her mouth and start taking sides without even listening to what actually happened. And she has had that issue with fraud. Fraud was telling her before, you know, two days ago, that Venita always try to listen and get the full details of what happened before you judge. But Venita is always very judgmental. She doesn't listen to things first. She will just go ahead and be very, very judgmental. So I like the way Omasha Lad this star yesterday because you cannot take the fact that, oh, because dude has feelings for you, you want to come and be dissing him anyhow. No, no. So I like the way Omasha Lad shut her up and put her in her place. And then she was very upset telling Shay, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, guys, I know Omashala. Omashala will go and settle with her. Okay, Omashala actually tried to go and settle with her. But then she was like, oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, guys, seriously. Eh? One thing I'm just going to say is these housemates, they are crazy. They are crazy. Because they are carrying our heads to jam together. They are giving me a headache. They are giving me a headache. I didn't sleep yesterday night till about 2 a.m. Because I wanted to see the end and bottom of everything that happened. They are crazy. They are using their stupid strategies to win 60 million to give everybody in Africa a headache. Anyways, guys, that's all for this morning's episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. Um, let's see how it goes between Marshala and Venita to see if finally Venita is going to, you know, calm down her horses and make peace with Omashallah, even though Omashallah has tried to make peace with her already. Um, so guys, that's it. I've said this, that's all, like, how many times now? Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Drop your comments below. I asked a lot of questions in the beginning of this video. And also, turn on post notification to join the notification gang. And I'll see you guys in tonight's video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.